Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. My name is Rejoice Wiz and you are welcome, 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 welcome to another exciting, educative and spiritual um, edition with Rejoice Wiz on the show. Today, I don't know if I should say real talk with Rejoice because um, the topic today is something that has been laid in my spirit and um, the more I try to bluff it off the more it keeps coming back and um, you know one thing about the things of God is if he has given you a word then that means you need to say it you need to spread it yeah but first of all if this is your first time of coming across this channel or maybe watching any of my videos you are welcome welcome and welcome all I needed to do is please subscribe. After subscribing, don't forget to hit the bell button to get notification for whenever I post new content. Yes, and to all my returning subscribers, you guys are so amazing. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate. Before I delve into the, the topic for today, I want to say a very big thank you to everyone that commented on the last post. I really do appreciate your encouragement i really do appreciate the fact that oh everyone is looking out for me and the fact that people kept on saying you know what just bluff it off just see that's one of those things i am eternally grateful for your comments i'm eternally grateful for always looking out for me thank you so very much yeah um today before i talk about um okay before i properly introduce the topic for today i want to paint a scenario and um, um, I trust and believe God that it will give us um, a perfect understanding on what exactly I'm, I'm going to talk about today. Yeah. Okay, I'll use, I don't know how exactly it was for you growing up, but growing up as a, as a kid, um, you know, we are kids can, can be kids. And um, I remember vividly sometimes you might get into a fight into arguments and um my dad would be like you know what um i know the perfect solution so i remember if i, I remember different scenarios whereby we had to write letter to each other like let's say for instance i got into an argument or into a fight with favor and then my daddy would say you know what favor you write an apology letter to uh, rejoice rejoice you have to write an apology letter to favor or to joshua or to any of us and it's kind of funny that um we are doing that but unknown to us it's something was being registered subconsciously in our minds and sometimes we'll be like dear sister, sister favor i'm sorry for this 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 i'm sorry i won't do it again please find a place in your heart to forgive me and after you're done writing it you have to submit it to your to um, i have to grab something to my dad who would scrutinize it who would say um this letter is not sounding remorseful you have to go and write another one and i remember is it's i remember there was one time i had to write my own letter five good times like five times my dad was like saying if he feels like there's still pride he feels like i'm not that remorseful yet now why am i saying this um i'm not a marriage counselor please i'm not a marriage counselor i just I'm ju i just got married like two months plus but the spirit keeps um laying this in my spirit i even discussed it with my husband i was like i don't even know how exactly i'm going to put it i don't know i don't want people to come out and say ha ah, she just got married and then she just started talking about marriage and stuff that was even the reason why i have been delaying to share this on this channel but i have to just say it so um it is um so painful that we have come to the fact to the fact that we feel the word sorry is not necessary we feel the word sorry is not as useful as it used to be whilst growing up people feel and think why should i say sorry why it makes no sense it makes me feel like i'm the lesser one so why should i say sorry and 
more reason why I painted that scenario by using um, my experience whilst growing up. In fact, in fact my, my idea will go as far as saying we should, we should sing this song. I love you, you love me, we are part of a uh, family. You know, you know that song? Uh, so my idea will go as far as, as singing that song. There's another song we'll also sing whilst growing up. Um, if you're an evil person, I, I will interpret it to the best of my knowledge, but to my Igbo people, you know this song. Onye obu na metu one nega kasiya ahorum ginanya ibo nyu oma ahorum ginanya. The song simply means ah everybody touch your your brother, touch your neighbor basically tell the person i love you i organize i love you and you're a favored person and i can remember grumbling like we'll just be hugging ourselves and and stuff and it, it is not coming from our it, it is it's not coming from my heart we're very sincere with you but the thing is that my auntie was just trying to let us know that you guys are siblings so yes you guys will always fight but the thing there is that don't forget that we are siblings and the fight should not separate us. What the fight should do is, okay, I'm wrong here, you're wrong there. The best thing I can do is say, I'm sorry. So we might be saying that, we might be singing that song and then not meaning it, but subconsciously something was being registered in our minds, in our hearts. And um, after that, we would now go and say i'm sorry i won't do it i won't do it again and then there goes the other person and stuff so why am i saying this in marriage most times it is the little thing that escalates to big issues little things that would that sorry would have solved and then most times people feel why should i even say sorry in fact the moment you start asking yourself why should why you should say sorry that is the more reason why you actually need to say sorry if you're a believer that is the more reason why you you have to say sorry and it is not just saying sorry it is one thing to say sorry and it's another thing to mean it most times you can just say i'm sorry but we don't mean it. When you say you're sorry, sincerely mean that you're sorry. You know what St. Paul said? I think it was talking to the Corinthians. He said, why not accept the fault that you are the one at fault so that you and your brother, you will live in peace. He said, why carry the matter to the court? He said, why? So most times the issues in marriages is something that sorry would have solved and everyone would be happy everyone will go will go to bed peacefully and fine i know sometimes our spouses can be handful sometimes it can be difficult sometimes we feel like ah this person is, is is annoying me it has gotten to here when it has gotten to here try and digest it digest it let's not get to here and then tell yourself i love this person I don't want this little issue to come between us. So what should I do is, I'm sorry. And then you, you call the person, this is where, this is what you're doing that you're actually hurting me. And I think another thing there is that until we express ourselves to our partners, until we're able to express ourselves so well that they would be able to understand that ah, you're stepping on me or, you are doing this thing to me and I don't like it. You know one thing, bottling emotions and then thinking that the other person would supernaturally, spiritually understand is foolishness. I'm being honest with you. So if you feel that this person is stepping on you, you can raise an alarm and say, hey, darling or honey or babe, you are stepping on me. So bottling it up, bottling it up, and then feeling, mm, I'm just going to let it slide. The more you keep sweeping some emotions under the carpet, the more the carpet rises, and the carpet will get to a point that it can't take the debts again. It's, it's going to come out. So. I feel we should be able to express our emotions and not just expressing your emotions. If you are the one at fault, please learn to say sorry. 
it takes humility for you to accept that you are at fault it takes humility for you to say you know what i'm sorry and not just saying sorry i've had people just say sorry just for saying sick but they go ahead in continuing the act and making the person feel bad learn not to in indulge in that act again if it would take you having an accountability partner to ensure that you don't do that same act that annoys the other person please have one five people say I'm not the sorry type. It's difficult for me to say sorry. I've, I've actually had people say that. I've had people tell me something. She will say, necessarily, you might not be the one at fault. So most sometimes, we'll not be the one at fault. But just learn to just say, you know what? I don't want this fight to linger. Let's just solve it and get get it done with. And then I've had couples say say. We don't let any issue sleep over the night. We tackle it before we sleep. Because, hey, you will pray. You will pray. If I, that's an agreement I had with my husband. In fact, we had it together. We said that no matter how the issue might be, we will settle it before we sleep. Because the next morning, you will get down on your knees and you will pray. So imagine, and, and look at what Bible said. Bible said that when you remember that you have an ought, you have like an unforgiveness inside you against your brother, against your sister, against your spouse, against anyone. He said, instead of you giving that offering, he said, go home and reconcile with that person before you come and give the offering. Sorry solves lots of problems more than we can think of or imagine. And when you say the sorry, mean it. Don't just say it for saying sake. Be remorseful. Mean it. And by so doing, the world will be a better place. By so doing, love will go around. By so doing, you will have peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to all my married folks out there, how has it been? Yeah. How has it been? Be married to a spouse that maybe you hurt you, hurt you, hurt you, hurt you. Like I told you something, in this channel we learn, we grow, and then we educate ourselves. So, how has it been for you being the one saying sorry, or sometimes you're at fault and then you are looking for a way to say sorry? You know, really, this can be very, very wonderful. When I be looking for a way, when I be like, we'll be crumbling. Why should I ever say sorry? So how has it been for you? I like, I sincerely, I'd like to know. And um, thank you to everyone who watched today's episode. I am sincerely, sincerely grateful. And um, I pray for everyone believing and trusting God for a life partner. I pray before the end of this year, the Lord will bless you with one. And then I also pray that you will have peace of mind. So everyone believing and trusting God for one good thing or the other, the Lord will bring it to pass. Yeah, don't forget, I love you and I celebrate you always. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button. God bless you. See you my next. Love you.